Hello, welcome to Democracy 101 in 5. I am Olani Osanusi. This concise yet detailed show focuses on the power of the citizens and how to make democracy work for you. Democracy 101 in 5 is an initiative of Yaga Africa with the support of the FCDO. Today, we're breaking down section 176 of the 1999 Constitution which outlines the qualifications and general responsibilities attached to the office of a governor. But first, how much do you know about this topic? We asked on the street, here are the responses we got. At least the governor is uh, responsible for implementing the state laws and of course overseeing the operations of the state executives. So one of the roles of a governor in a particular state is to monitor the economy of that state. Yeah, it's to ensure the government or the youth of a state in building up itself or building up, uh, should I say, public or should I say the environment. To develop the state, like to monitor the roads, whether they are good, good roads or bad roads. Section 176 of the 1999 Constitution talks about the requirements of the governor of the state. Every state of the Federation shall have a governor and the governor shall be the chief executive of that state. A person shall be qualified for the office of governor if he or she is a citizen of Nigeria by birth, attained the age of 35, be a member of a political party and be sponsored by that party. It is also important to note that a candidate must possess at least a secondary school certificate or its equivalent. Getting elected isn't a walk in the park. Elections for the office of the governor must be conducted not earlier than 150 days before the expiration of the term of the last holder. To win, a candidate must secure the majority of votes cast and not less than one quarter of the votes in at least two thirds of all local government areas in the state. A person shall be disqualified from being governor if he has voluntarily acquired citizenship of another country, if he has served for two terms of four years, if he is adjudged to be a lunatic, under a sentence of death imposed by a competent court within a 10-year period has been convicted and sentenced for an offense involving dishonesty if he is declared bankrupt or is a serving civil servant. But it's not just about getting into office. Some responsibilities come with the title. Let's take a look at some of the general responsibilities of a governor. The governor is responsible for the appointment of commissioners and special advisors appointments and promotion of civil servants to the position of secretary to the government, head of civil service, permanent secretary, determine the policy direction of the state, delegate responsibilities to the deputy governor and commissioners. The governor also has the power to grant pardon to convicted felons. In essence, the office of a governor is not just about holding power, it's about shouldering immense responsibilities for the welfare and progress of the state and its people. That's Democracy 101 in 5. We want to hear from you. You can reach us on any social media platform via at Yaga. You can also watch this episode and other episodes on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at Yaga 1. Thank you for watching. I am Olani Osanusi. See you next time as we treat another crucial aspect of our democracy. Remember, you have the power to make democracy work for you. Use it. Bye for now.